It's time to take off your clothes, enjoy clothes free living, and join us for Naked, Nudist, and Naturist. Welcome to Naked, Nudist, and Naturist, the show that celebrates clothes free living for all. I'm your host, Frank Stone. And I'm your correspondent, Lisa Monroe, and I'll be reporting on all things within the Naturist community. So it's time to get naked and join us. And enjoy clothes free living on Naked, Nudist, and Naturists. Well, greetings and welcome in to Naked, Nudist, and Naturist, episode 39 today. That's right. Our 39th consecutive week of broadcasting and our 39th episode. We give you one a week every Saturday morning, 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. It drops on Spotify. And by the way, every single show is one hour long. So you can plan your listening time, whether you are driving somewhere, whether you like to listen while you are grocery shopping or sitting on your deck or at the beach or in your living room. You know exactly. It will be one hour long, and we appreciate having you with us. The only thing we ask in return, and we've been asking this the last few weeks, please take a moment to review, rate, and subscribe uh, the show. Now, whether you're listening right now on Apple or Spotify, you can do it right now. There's a way to rate us, and of course, five is the highest. Just thought I'd put it out there, <laughs> but... We enjoy it. If you have a moment to write a few words about the show, terrific. If not, just give us a number. Five is the highest. I thought I'd point that out yet again. And then on YouTube, we give you a brand new preview of the upcoming episode every Wednesday morning, 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. I haven't said that enough, haven't promoted it enough, so I thought I'd better start doing that. But if you can rate, review, subscribe, Apple, Spotify, YouTube, we'd appreciate it very much. And now let's get to report number four from Andy Rogers and her husband, Tom. Hi, this is Andy. And this is Tom with the Winter on Wheels I'm Perfect Tour. So I was so excited to get to visit the Dragonfly Ladies, which is an established winter group already at the incredible home of Cynthia in Altadena, California. And her home was built by Franklin Lloyd Wright Jr., in the 40s, and it gives a view of the beautiful Arroyo Seco Canyon while you're sitting in the hot tub or in the dining room or in the kitchen. It's just glorious. And this group has been getting together approximately four years, and they have three to four events a year. And they gather to allow women to try naturism and meet other women who are in naturism. And doing so has really bonded them together in a special way. So there's that connection, community, and camaraderie that winter is all about. Let's get to my interview now with Mark Sprong. He is from the Star Ranch in McDade, Texas. He is also the host of the podcast for the Star Ranch. It's called StarCast. So let's talk to him right now. From Texas, the very terrific Mark Sprong. So let's head out to uh, Texas this morning. We're going to talk to a gentleman who is a member of the Star Ranch about 35 miles or so east of Austin, Texas. But he is also the host of his own podcast. It's the podcast that's in conjunction with the Star Ranch. It's called StarCast, the the podcast all about the Star Ranch. So let's welcome him to the show this morning from Texas, from the Star Ranch, Mark Sprong. Good morning, Mark. How are you today, sir? Good morning, sir. I am doing wonderful. How are you? Not too bad at all. I appreciate you asking. You're just living the clothes free life for all the right reasons. And I think if you do that, nothing really goes wrong, at least. Or if it does, you can deal with it more readily, right? It's amazing how stress free life is when uh, when you in- embrace the uh, the clothes free life. And uh, Mark, if people want to get a hold of you, hear the show, get in touch with the Star Ranch, how do they go all about uh, doing that? Uh, well, we're on the uh, we're on the internet, StarRanch.net. You can uh, you can send us an email there. You, you can see our, our list of uh, social activities and and generally check the place out. There's some photographs there. There's some some uh, the, the 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 Starcast podcast is there. Good portal into uh, into Star Ranch. And you have a whole section on visitor information. So if somebody's new and they've never been, you have a darn near ten different subheadings they can check out and find out a lot of information before they even show up, right? Absolutely, yes. All right, absolutely. The, the whole goal is to is to present us to uh, you know to, to the 
the the folks that, that want to come out and enjoy nude recreation. All right. Great to talk to you today. Again, Mark Sprong from the Star Ranch in McDade, Texas, also the host of the StarCast podcast through the Star Ranch. And Mark Sprong, I go out there and have a great close free day. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks for having me, Frank. Appreciate it. You bet. While you are listening to Naked and Nudist and Naturist today, episode 39, we thank you for being with us. And as you can tell by the music that is sneaking in on us, once again, it is time for the one, the only, the terrific, the over-the-top, wonderful Lisa Monroe. And here she is, fully smiling, fully clothes free, and unlike last week, she is fully armed with baked goods. So let's welcome her to the show, our correspondent for Naturism, Lisa Monroe. Good morning, Lisa. How are you today? Good morning. And yes, I did bring snacks. And yes, they are brownies. So, um, <laughs> but you can't have it. No, I guess you'll have some. I uh, will let you have some. All right. The girls might let you have some. We have a, a controversy out there uh, sent to us by one of our regular listeners. It has to do with Australia looking to close a nudist beach, and if our listeners want to look it up, it's Byron Bay. And apparently it's been a nude beach, or you could be nude there for a very long time, but suddenly they're saying, no, nah, I don't think so. Uh, what do you know about this, uh, Lisa? Well, I, I know that this beach has been around for a long time, and it's one of the few still beaches in this part of Australia that can actually have uh, full nudity. And it, uh, I guess it's kind of been a clothing optional zone for a long time. And, you know, there, from what I can tell, there have been no issues, no problems, no harassment, no police activity, no nothing. People just go there, take their clothes off, enjoy the water, enjoy the sun, and they go home. What happened was that the Byron Bay Shire Council in, in December of last year received a letter from the um, MPWS, which is the governing body, body of this area, they wrote that, you know, it had jurisdiction over over the area and that the nudist beach was not consistent with the values the reserve is managed under. Oh, wow. I don't know how a naturist would not have the values that a reserve would be managed under. And that is, I think, just a tremendously difficult statement for any anyone to believe that that's the reason they want to stop this. Well, it sounds like a bunch of political speak from one person or a committee or a group, you know, we don't like naked people hanging around. So let's make up a bunch of nonsense, uh, not consistent with the values the reserve is managed under. And, and that'll, that'll be the ticket to getting rid of this thing. Well, we have in the show notes of the article that this listener sent to us. And as part of the article, there's a, a link to an online petition. I don't know if it's too late to sign it. I always say it's never too late. Uh, go ahead and sign that if you're so inclined and tell this Byron council, hey, that, that's enough of this nonsense. Nobody's bothering. It's no harm, no foul. Just leave them alone. And uh, maybe we'll do some good for those people. Uh, Lisa, unfortunately, we have to go. A shorter segment today. Hopefully, we'll get back to our regular time time <laughs> limits uh, later. Uh, but thank you for the baked goods. You go out there and have a great clothed-free week and uh, happy smiling and dancing. We'll see you next time. Oh, absolutely. You too, Frank. Have a great week. Right. And great naked week. And That's right. You too. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Well, you are listening to Naked Nudist and Naturist, episode 39 today. And now let's get to part two of my interview with Dario Western from Australia, a huge proponent of naturism, nudism in Australia, and also works as a musician and has performed nude before. So let's get to it right now. Part two of my interview with Dario Western. It, it always semi cracks me up, for lack of a better term, that people go on to these forums like Twitter or Facebook and they argue with each other as though they're going to convince anybody to change their mind. That will never, ever, ever happen in the rest of the civilization where you believe one thing, I believe another, and I just slam you. you know, you're a loser and you're a bum and you're a psycho. Here's what you ought to believe. And the other person says, Son of a gun, Frank, you're right. I think I'll believe the way you believe now. That will never happen. So why do people do that, do you think? <laughs> why do they do that? Uh, I, I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> probably just uh, human uh, nature to try and make up this uh, wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we've been talking to Dario Western today. What an amazing guy out of Australia. He's done it all. 
He's done photography. He's done life drawing, both sides of the canvas as an artist, as a model. And of course, you've heard about his uh, naturism life, his uh, nudist life, his Facebook group to, to promote it. And also uh, a nude musician for a while there, had nude people in his band and just doing it the right way for all the right reasons. And Dario Western, before we go, tell our listeners again how they can find you, how they can find uh, all of your work online. If you want to uh, listen to the music uh, from uh, Laissez Fair, you can uh, check out uh, linktree. Uh, slash um, Laissez Fair One, or you can uh, check them out on uh, YouTube and uh, SoundCloud. And are you st- still involved in life drawing, or is that just uh, something that you got involved in for a while? You're not doing anymore. Something I. Uh, just uh, got involved with for a while. I might probably do it next time I go to uh, Confest. But uh, okay. it's never been a great uh, ambition of mine to be a, to be a champion uh, life artist. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought about it once and then I realized my stick figures are not very good, let alone trying to expand. So I, <laughs> I, I okay, I'm out. I'll stick to the music. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, it's great to have had you on the show today. As more music comes out, particular if it pertains to uh, naturism, nudism, let us know. We'll get you back on, maybe play a song or two uh, during a show and just keep promoting you because you are promoting nudism, naturism for all the right reasons. So just uh, keep us posted. We'll get you back on. Sure. All right. Once again, Dario Western from Brisbane. You say a Brisbane, right? Not Brisbane. It's Brisbane. Brisbane. Uh, but uh, Americans often call it Brisbane. Yeah, that's how I've always <laughs> but, heard it. Uh, the vernacular uh, calls it uh, Brisneyland or Bris Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> so Brisbane in Queensland, which is in Australia. And uh, Dario Western, to the best of your ability, go out there and have a great close free day. We'll talk again soon. Thank you very much, Frank. Right, thank you. The very terrific Dario Western from Australia. You can find him all over social media. He mentioned SoundCloud as well. Check out his music. Check out his Facebook group if you are inclined to do so. And we thank Dario Western for all of his time on today's show as well as last week's show. And by the way, as a heads up, on next week's show, episode 40 and the show after that, episode 41, we will have Paul Z. Walker as our guest. He's a highly prolific author, writes in naturism fiction as well, works with Will Forrest and Ted Bunn. So we'll have Paul Z. Walker on each of the next two shows. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and review Spotify, Apple, and YouTube. Well, thank you for being with us on Naked, Nudist, and Naturist, episode 39 today. We give you a brand new show every Saturday morning at 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. Continue to join us. Check us out on our website, nakednudistandnaturist.com. Spotify, Google, Amazon slash Audible, Apple Podcasts, and also on Twitter. You can write us anywhere, anytime, anyplace. And uh, we thank you for being with us uh, today. Plan to join us for every single one of our shows here and have your clothes off when you're listening. We have our clothes off when we're broadcasting, enjoying the naturist life. We celebrate clothes-free living for all. Remember to enjoy being naked and join us again for Naked Nudist and Naturist. We drop a brand new show every Saturday morning, so come back and join us. Have your clothes off when you do for Naked, Nudist, and Naturist. Have a great clothes-free day. Naked, Nudist, and Naturist.